Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss uptake of nutrients in the bacterial cells. Before going into the topic, let's know about what are nutrients. Nutrients or substances or chemicals required as raw materials for microorganisms for their metabolism and reproduction or being called as nutrients. Example, your carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, etc. So on we can discuss. So these nutrients are being mainly classified into two types. One as macronutrients and another one as micronutrients. These nutrients we will discuss about these in another session. Okay, coming to topic that is this topic uptake of nutrients. Let's see what's the definition of uptake of nutrients. The first step in the nutrient utilization is to take up the required nutrients by the microbial cell from its external environment is being termed as uptake of nutrients. The most important transport mechanisms that is uptake of nutrient mechanisms used by bacterial cells are number one diffusion, number two active transport, number three group translocation. We find the diffusion active transport in the eukaryotes but we won't find the third type that is group translocation. Then what type of the mechanism will undergo is nothing but endocytosis and this endocytosis is absent in most of the bacteria or prokaryotic cells. Then in this video we will discuss about the first type diffusion. You may get a question, what about the active transport and the group translocation? I'm going to do three separate videos to explain these three types for your convenience. So in this part, we will discuss the first one that is diffusion. So what is a diffusion? It is a process in which molecules move from a region of higher concentration to that of lower concentration across the plasma membrane. Whose plasma membrane? Any cell, especially here we are discussing about the bacteria. So obviously bacterial cell membrane, which is also called as plasma membrane. So it's a process of moving molecules from higher concentration gradient to lower concentration gradient. Diffusion is again of two methods, passive diffusion, facilitated diffusion. We will see the uh, difference between the passive diffusion and the facilitated diffusion in the coming next uh, slide. That is, first of all, let's see what is a passive diffusion. So diffusion means moving of molecules or the nutrients or substances from higher concentration to lower concentration. This is what you have to remember. So here also the same thing is occurring but this passive diffusion will occur in the conditions where higher concentration gradient is more enough or always more when compared to the lower uh, concentration that is inside the cell. If not, this can be achieved by thermal agitation. The molecules like carbon dioxide, hydro, uh, that is water molecule and oxygen move across the plasma membrane or your cell membrane by this mechanism called as passive diffusion. Let's see the pic, then you will come to know. So here is a passive diffusion. And this is the second type of the facilitated diffusion, I will tell you. Just look at this picture. Oh, sorry. So uh, look at this picture where uh, you can see this is the passive diffusion where the higher concentration of uh, substrate molecules is there. 
they are passing through the plasma membrane without any energy utilization. So that's also a very important factor that you are supposed to remember. So the molecules that are being moved from higher concentration to lower concentration through the plasma membrane is being termed as passive diffusion, pass on, simple just pass on from higher to lower. And then coming to the second type, so the second type of diffusion is facilitated diffusion. So in this facilitated diffusion, in nutrient poor conditions, always there, uh, there is no, uh, always there may be no chance to have higher concentrations. Then what happens if they are in low concentration? Obviously, then also they have to take the nutrients. So in such conditions, that is nutrient poor conditions, the bacteria try to take or uh, the substrate molecules into the cell by the process called as facilitated diffusion. This facilitated diffusion is going to be occurring with the help of a carrier proteins which were embedded in the plasma membrane of bacterial cell. And remember the most important point that we have to remember in this facilitated diffusion is no metabolic energy. So here, no metabolic energy input is required when the concentrated gradient disappears that inward movement ceases so once uh, it takes or whatever the nutrient that it requires so there will be no more inward movement of this molecules so as this uh, transfer of nutrient from outside into the cell inside the cell is being carried or facilitated by the protein carriers we call this as facilitated diffusion in both the cases of facilitated diffusion that is passive diffusion and facilitated diffusion you are going to see the molecules having of higher concentration gradient when compared to the inside cell okay and one more important that you should remember here is it is not going to have no metabolic no metabolic input is required okay so that's all about the diffusion and we will discuss the rest of the two types of uh, mechanisms that is uh, active transport and your group translocation in part two and part three thank you